Here is a rain forecast for the next five days in New Orleans. For tomorrow, Monday, there is a forecast for 20% chance of rain. And tomorrow, we will observe that either rain occurred or it did not. Was the forecast skillful? Is the forecast good? Let's imagine 100 forecasts for the five days ahead and record only the predicted probability of rain for the one day ahead, here 20%. We wait one day and record whether rain was observed. Suppose for 30 of these 100 one-day forecasts, rain was predicted with 20% probability. Suppose for six of those 30 days, rain was observed to occur. The forecast for 20% chance of rain did exactly what was hoped for. The forecast is reliable. But when we prefer accurate forecasts of either 0% chance or 100% chance of rain? Of course. Not only do we want probability forecasts to be reliable, we want them to be resolved. In this short course, we'll use Python to analyze the skill of probability forecasts. Here is some data from Finland. The area of the dots is proportional to the number of forecasts. On days when rain probability was forecasted to be 20%, rain occurred about 8% of the time. On days when the forecast was 100%, rain occurred 85% of the time. We would prefer all the forecasted probabilities match perfectly the observed frequency, so all the dots be on the diagonal. And furthermore, we would prefer the forecasted probabilities be at the extremes, big dots at either 0% or 100%. So is this forecast system better than simply always forecasting the climatological frequency of rain known from previous years? Yes, it is slightly better than that, but there is a long way to go to perfection. Come join us in completing three programming projects. This one project about forecast verification should have broad applicability in whatever you are forecasting, the stock market, public health, consumer purchases, you name it. The other two projects concerned compositing weather data to make a judgment about climate anomalies. We will use the IPython notebook platform to develop our Python programs. I cannot offer you a more pleasant programming platform than that. Hi, I'm Brian Fiedler. I'm a professor in the School of Meteorology at the University of Oklahoma.